To say this morning's vote for Speaker of the House was a hot mess would be an understatement. Jordan. Bacon. McCarthy. McCarthy. Dumbass. That was Fox News' host Brian Kilmeade getting caught on a hot mic after a Republican voted for Kevin McCarthy as Speaker. Welcome to TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Many sympathize with Representative Sidney Kamlager Dove, who clearly has had enough of the House Speaker drama. With Republican Jim Jordan coming up 20 votes short of taking the gavel, and 12 fewer than New York Democrat Hawking Jeffries, for that matter, many fear that there's going to be no consensus. That is, if the majority of the GOP continues to back the Ohio congressman. Even the head Republican in the Senate had nothing nice to say on Jordan. Jim Jordan just failed to win the speaker vote. He's got these 20 votes short. Uh, do you think the House should reinstall Kevin McCarthy or empower Patrick and Henry? Patrick and Henry? Uh, you guys cover the House. I got my hands full here in the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> If you ask Democrat Maxine Waters, she'll say Jordan was an insurrectionist. Wait, she did say that during the vote. Waters. Jeffries. Folks just hate Jim Jordan. How much do some Republicans hate him? Enough to nominate someone else they hate less. Representative Ken Buck made that clear. No, he did not vote for Congressman Jim Jordan, instead voting for Tom Emmer. Well, I guess my first question is, do you really want Tom Emmer to be speaker? No, I don't. I don't like Tom Emmer. I figured this would be the worst job in America. Mike Rowe would not want to do this for his TV show. This is so, a terrible job. Okay, so just to underscore that, you voted for somebody because you don't like them. I, I voted for somebody because I wasn't going to vote for Jim yeah. Jordan. Yeah. Who could blame him? Jordan isn't just disliked, he's not very productive in Congress, as Democrat Jared Moskowitz noted in an interview this morning. If for the 16 years, 16 years that Jim Jordan has been in Congress, okay, I would like to go over right now all of his legislative accomplishments. I want to list them one by one. I'm going to start right now. I'm finished. Of course, dethroned Speaker Kevin McCarthy still believes no one is to blame for the Republicans' failure to elect a new Speaker but the Democrats. Why we're here, every single Democrat voted to stop one branch of government. They created this mess with eight Republicans. Every single Democrat did. Given that the GOP refused to take a second vote today for Jim Jordan, do you think they'll find another prospective leader? Long live Speaker Scalise. You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons. And thanks for watching.